We will say again, Ben Lisin, Ben Yasso uh, by uh, Dark Passage and Free Agents. What will be the second band from Dark Passage? B -b 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 I think it's going to be LeBlanc. For, to ban just so perfect. He's so beautiful. Uh, in He's so incredible. incredible on the champion. And actually, uh, we can see a ban of uh, Lulu against also against uh, uh, Asian team. I think that uh, there should be a LeBlanc ban from Free Agents right now. So they don't want Naro to play LeBlanc on the mid lane uh, from Dark Passage. Kha'Zix get banned against I'm so fresh, but again, look, uh, Dark Passage has the first pick. They can take Kha'Zix themselves. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Crystal M just don't play it. I don't know. Maybe it's the main reason. We, we can see that uh, Jace is, uh, that is not playing for LeBlanc, uh, for uh, Kha'Zix. Oh, Kasadin. Jace is from SK team. Uh, he didn't. He doesn't play uh, with Kasadin, so uh, the SK team just banning Kasadin because Jaces doesn't play at this champion. Yeah, so maybe uh, Crystal oh, M don't play. And doesn't Dark play. Passage banning LeBlanc against Free Agents team. Evelyn got banned as a second ban against Dark Passage, and Lulu as last ban against Naru, of course. Very, very dangerous champion. Uh, is, was banned as last from uh, free agents. Really, really good bans here. Uh, Yasso is dangerous uh, in the hands of Fabulous, but he got Renekton. In this case, he can always pick that champion for the first pick, no problem. So Fabulous is a uh, heaven in the heaven and his heaven his ace in hand, having his ace in hand. And meanwhile, meanwhile, a Trindamere uh, can come from Chosen in this case. On the top lane, uh, we know Trindamir is a, is a crazy split push champion. He's always pushing, 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 being on the top lane. As we saw, uh, Jax is also a champion that always pushing 24/7, being on the top lane. Uh, Trindamir of the same kind, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be amazed if it was. Uh, so Trindamere. the chosen, just picking Thresh from trial to prevent that combo of Lucian and Thresh on the bottom lane. Instead of that, they got their own combo, Thresh and Caitlyn on Silver and AOD. Yeah, we saw AOD playing uh, really great on Karma last game. That ultimate poke with Mantra and Inner Flame gave a lot of advantage for the combo uh, Silver and AOD last game. Let's see what's gonna be here with the Caitlyn Thresh combo. Also AOD played Thresh on, the, on, his fir on their first game against uh, HWA, uh, the second Turkish team in the quarterfinals. And they won. Agents won uh, the first yep. Turkish team. Uh, also, I'd like to say that Caitlyn and Thrash is a Korean <laughs> Korean combo uh, from the previous seasons, and it was really, really popular uh, because they can push really fast. So that's probably gonna work great for team free agents as they want to play as push team. I we just, saw it before. I just realized that this match, this series, this best of free series is just a revenge of all Turkish teams. Why? Because free agents beat uh, HWA. Yeah. The second Turkish team in the quarterfinals. Uh huh. So yeah. It's like uh, Team Denial against our, our Russian teams. They uh, beat uh, so uh, t uh, Team Dragon. <laughs> yeah. So Dark Passage uh, should like and re uh, later re revenge and later revenge. they uh, just clashed with Team Rocks Kiss and Rocks uh, should have re revenged for our first Team Dragon, but they didn't. So <laughs> let's talk more about Dark Passage and Free Agents, uh, about their pick we, we actually saw already, uh, Chosen, uh, and we still don't know uh, what's gonna be Chosen's pick, but uh, we know that Silver in AOD is gonna are gonna play uh, Caitlyn and Thrash combo, and uh, talking about Holy Phoenix, what do you think, what will be his pick against that Caitlyn and Thrash combination? I guess it's gonna be uh, Nami, why not? Uh, the long Holy Phoenix, I mean Eddie Carey. Ah, Eddie Carey. Uh, Do you think? <laughs> because we didn't see any uh, champion bans uh, against Eddie Carey. And so uh, remember the game, uh, the game against Polish team uh, against Denial. We saw two bans against Holy Phoenix. It was Draven and Lucian in both games. So they understand that Holy Phoenix is a real, real threat for them, and they have to take it out. Actually, Holy Phoenix and yeah, Holy Phoenix. <laughs> Holy Phoenix and the support of Dark Passage team can just abuse Draven Nami combo. Trial and Holy Phoenix. Why not? It's a great bowling combination. 
they got a lot of damage, they got a lot of control, a lot of CC, and of course a sustain, which is a great tool against uh, the, such combos as Caitlyn and Thresh. Uh, they got nothing yeah. to prevent uh, their sustain and their farming abilities. Yeah, this is the second match, uh, as we repeat about that. Uh, Dark Passage playing against uh, three agents as uh, a best of three series for the third place. Uh, so, who's gonna win? It's currently 1-0. Uh, free agents are leading, and if Dark Passage win this game, they're gonna be uh, match number three. If they're gonna lose, it's gonna be free uh, free agents who take third place. Yes, of course, and we are just waiting for the narrow. He has a, a lot of problems with this client. He's disconnecting all, all over and over again, and we have to wait him. We have to wait until the narrow will join us, and again. We will come to the picks and bands, and we will see yeah. what combination of champions we will see from Dark Passage and Free Agents in this match. Yeah, hopefully there will, there will be no more problems uh, from uh, coming up from Nara, I guess, because he had some troubles with connection, and hopefully we will see these picks and bands uh, from the very from the very beginning till the very end, and we will jump into the game really really soon. So. Talking more about narrow picks on the mid lane, we saw him uh, playing Gragas, I think, yes, yesterday. Of course. Uh, we saw his Oriana and probably Lee Blanc uh, against uh, Denial EU team. And all. Lee Blanc and uh, blah, 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 Nidalee. Nidalee, yeah. Nidalee is the ultimate uh, is is the ultimate uh, poking champion. Uh, that uh, can also also give a good uh, sustain. Uh, when the, the siege is going, so Nidalee is, uh, how, how you call it, uh, she can do anything, like she can poke, she can siege, uh, at the same time, I mean, poke and sieging, and she can play in defense, healing his uh, healing her own, uh, own allies. Also, he can heal and use her uh, abilities to, uh, if they lost uh, her health exchanging fights, uh, if uh, his, uh, her other carry of her tank, uh, will be dropped under the 50% of health, for example, she can just easily heal him and uh, raise him his health bar to the 100%. Yeah, all teams are ready and we're gonna start pretty soon, I, I think, again, to this... Uh, uh, to these uh, picks and bans. Again, Dark Passage against Team Free Agents. Uh, I repeat, Dark Passage on the first pick, free agents on the purple on purple side, second pick, second ban, and it's gonna be Lysin, Leblanc of course from the side of uh, Dark Passage, Yasuo and Evelyn from free agents, and Kha'Zix and Lulu of course as the last ban bans from both teams. Fabulous is taking Renekton, Chosen and I'm So Fresh will take uh, Thrash and Caitlyn combo for Silver and AOD, and I wonder what, what's gonna be next picks for uh, Dark Narrow Passage. and Crystal M. Uh, I guess it's gonna be uh, Y. Why with uh, Rankton is a great combo of jungler and a top laner. They got a lot of control, they got a lot of CC, a lot of damage uh, early on. On the third level, uh, when Y comes to the top lane, they can just destroy anyone that stands one that stands there. Yeah, sure. So we're waiting. Probably they're gonna take their dual lane first. No, it's gonna be Y. You were right. Uh, talking about Naro, what's gonna be? Uh, again, I guess uh, it's gonna be Nidalee. Needly or Gragas, because uh, with Y, Gragas can deal a lot of uh, really impressive moves. Yeah, because when uh, the Assault Berry is cast and the target is knocked up, there is a time for Gragas to use his explosive cast to pu pull target to himself and destroy it completely with that body slam and barrel roll combo. Gragas deals a lot of damage with that abilities. And on the other side, he can just exp explode the target with his explosive, explosive cask and then Crystal M follow him up with his assault battery and knock the then uh, target and just destroy him. Naru again having a problem with his picks. I just don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're waiting. We're just uh, waiting for uh, both teams to get ready and so we can start. So we can start again the game against uh, the game Dark Passage against Free Agents. I really want to see how it starts because uh, that's that's the trouble with uh, probably tournament client and uh, mid laner has uh, some troubles with that. 
So we're, we're just waiting. Uh, aha. He's gonna... Uh, trial is gonna restart the rotor or something. So we're just waiting. Uh, talking about free agents, we said a lot of words about uh, Dark Passage, about their strategies, how they're probably gonna play in this game. What do you think about free agents? Uh, which champion Sauce Pure Effect is gonna pick in this set? And of course, Chosen and I'm So Fresh. What is gonna be their picks? I guess it's, it can be a Z for team agents on the mid lane. Of course, uh, because we saw that Sauce Perfect uh, likes uh, that and it fits. Also for him, that assassin combos, uh, assassin champions like Leblanc, like Zed, uh, like maybe Fizz. Uh, but also during the quarterfinals and uh, RO16, uh, the, the first uh, stage of our tournament, uh, Spheres Pure Effect also played as Lulu, but Lulu uh, banning again Lulu, and Lulu again is, from, yeah. from game to game. She banned and she got no chance to play on this stage. Uh, on this arena. Yeah, Lulu is a really great pick. Uh, as well as Zix, by the way. Uh, I think maybe we can see Zix in this particular game. Uh, free agents might take it now. Uh, especially if Naro is gonna take something like Gragas or Nili, as you said before. Zix could be a really great uh, pick for Team Free Agents here. We really forget about Zix. He just disappeared from our, <laughs> our arena. We see uh, Nidalee, we see Gragas, we see Ariana, and that little Yordle, little explosive Yordle, just uh, went away uh, from this meta, I guess. But we saw Formka playing uh, six uh, of, of both games in the quarterfinals against uh, Denial U in the quarterfinals, and it wasn't the best, I guess. It wasn't the best at all. Yeah, he did, he did good, he did uh, well. We remember how he out damaged. All, all champions on his on his side on the enemy side doesn't matter. He just made a colossal damage, uh, collateral little damage. On Mega the, inferno on the damage yeah. with his <laughs> grenades with his yeah. bombs. Yeah, destroying the uh, destroying with that uh, area of effect. So, uh, what can I say more about uh, Zix pick for a mid lane? It's really great at pushing, like Gragas, for example. Uh, it's really great at uh, uh, at out pushing, of course. If your uh, if your team is getting pushed down to towers, and he's great, of course, in uh, trying, you know, uh, on attempts. He's also trying on attempts to, uh, to uh, for example, steal Baron with that. Uh, with that Mega Inferno bombs and that abilities that can he, he can. Uh, he can throw into pits into steel any steel obje something. objective goals any objective. like dragon like baron and of course to out push uh, any minion wave uh, which will push under his turret <laughs> uh, uh, we have uh, about a few minutes before we start our second match of that best of three series we don't know who will, will win Will agents uh, get another win? Or oh, that passage can get can deal a lot of a lot of uh, revolution, I guess, uh, and prevent this uh, second win uh, of agent team against Turkish. Against Dark Passage, yeah, he's restarting rotor. Uh, we're waiting for Naru, uh, the mid laner of Dark Passage, and then we're ready to go, and we can. Uh, we can broadcast this game because I'm I'm really wonder I really wonder how it's gonna be how they gonna make moves in this game and what will be the strategy of both teams so are they gonna are they gonna make uh, are they gonna make early moves like uh, early aggressive for example dark passage as we saw many times before uh, Draven a combination of Draven and Nami. Uh, of course, mid lane Lee Blanc is good for early aggressions. Uh, as a top lane, Fabulous is uh, semi aggressive in, uh, during early game because he usually has problems. Uh, either, either it can be swap lanes against him. When he played Yasuo yesterday, we saw uh, swap lanes uh, from enemy team, and for today. We saw like he got destroyed on his Yasuo. Uh, it, he went something like zero five 
on Yasuo. But uh, then he got uh, triple kill on the top lane. Nah, they uh, they made a little comeback for their team, but then yeah. what just made denial? It was oh my god! It was so impressive. They did a second comeback at that game and won. Yeah, completely true. So uh, we are saying that we are ready, and probably both teams are ready too. And we can start picks and banks, uh, picks and banks of uh, second match once again. Once again, we will see what will pick Nero for the for the for his team uh, as a third pick. Yeah, and again the same bands, the same picks. Listen, Kazix, Lulu, uh, Evelyn, Yasuo, of course, against Fabulous and LeBlanc. These six champions we will not see this game, but we will see Rennington, Trash, Caitlyn, and also Y from Crystal M. Yeah, for sure. And uh, again, I wonder how it's gonna happen with this aggressive Y from uh, Dark Passage. I'm pretty sure they're gonna make moves on the top lane to help Fabulous out, and it probably can be swap lanes from Dark Passage here if uh, they take aggressive enough lane for uh, Holy Phoenix and Trial. It can be it can be Draven, it can be Lucian. Uh, I, I want Saber. it. I want it will be Draven. You the Draven is just amazing with Halo Phoenix. Halo Phoenix is uh, making the best. I don't know. Uh, he's uh, very useful for his team. Uh, yes, he's dying a lot uh, with Draven because Draven uh, doesn't have any escapes, and it's gonna be Draven for Halo Phoenix. Oh my God! Probably. I'm so I'm so trembling right now. Probably it's it will be Draven as we saw yesterday. He great plays and uh, the the moves he makes on Holy Fe uh, the the moves Holy Phoenix makes on Draven are really impressive as we told before again. Um, Sauce pure effect. What's what's gonna take? I guess it's gonna be Z, Z or Zix. Uh, I'm not sure about. I, I'm I'm thinking about Zix, but not Z. But with the combo with uh, Caitlyn, uh, they can just demolish people with Ace in the hole with this Shadow Mark with the Death Death Mark. Uh, they can do a lot of physical damage in the short period of time. Yeah, and of course uh, Silver either. What he's gonna <laughs> pick? Soraka. Wow, Soraka is a nice pick for uh, uh, for mid lane. Or... If it's gonna be a Soraka, it will be a lot of bananas this <laughs> game. Banana Soraka. And uh, Nidalee, top lane, uh, really interesting pick. Uh, as we saw, Chosen loves to uh, to split push. He's trying to split push non-stop, he's doing this in a really great way, but now it's gonna be Shivana, which is really great in split push too. So, it's probably going, going to be Zix on the mid lane for Salt Pure Effect, and of course Shivana is going top lane. Or no! Rice. So wow. as I told, it's gonna be Zix or Z. So <laughs> is Zix for Six Perfect? Oh my oh, God! Ari, he Ari changed his it. mind in the last second. La last second? No, what? it's Zix. What the hell is going on? Or Ari or Zix? I don't know. It's a little bug. I think we just with bugged. Client. We with just client. maybe and disconnected. Every everyone bugged in here. Uh, something is going wrong with those uh, with the second match. And with this uh, second match in the game, so hopefully everything will be fine right now. Where uh, we will uh, just check check the issue. What's what's going on actually? Um, I just wonder. I just wonder what it's gonna be. Um, For now, so perfect and Silver still <laughs> trying to lock in their champions, and we can continue to the other picks. For Team Dark Passage, Harley Phoenix and Trial have to pick the fourth and the last pick for that team. Who is gonna be? Uh, we have a mid lane and the support. Of course, uh, Harley Phoenix and Trial have to pick uh, this type of champions. And I guess it's gonna be Nidalee for Naru or Gragas. But uh, I like to see Gragas on Naru, uh, especially with that Y combo, as we said before, before the second try. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, it is bugged and uh, the yeah. teams just disconnected all from free agents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this tournament client has some problems. We uh, mentioned that uh, I think yesterday because we couldn't start the game uh, for a half, one hour and a half. Yeah, one hour. Yeah, one hour and a half. We couldn't start the game and uh, and we're ready. Exactly. Of course, uh, no one asked. <laughs> who, knew? who cares? Uh, so Leblanc, again, Lulu, Kazix, Evelyn, Lysin, and uh, 
Who was this last? Lulu Kazix. Lucien? Yeah. Ah, Yasso. Yasso yes, against Fabulous, Yasso. of course. Yeah, uh, we'll and again, again one, Renewed Tone. Once again. Trish Caitlin. Vi. Draven. Ari. Z uh, Rice. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna be Ari. Um, probably, uh, it's, uh, probably it's Zix. I'm Actually, thinking. it will be a great pick for Team uh, Free Agents because Ari. Uh, as I said before, uh, these kind of champions uh, that can deal a lot of burst, a lot of uh, momentum damage yep. against anyone, uh, they fit, they fit uh, with Source Perfect really great. So, as it was LeBlanc last game, it was a lot of, uh, a lot of, I think, it's LeBlanc before, <laughs> before this tournament, and Source Perfect just gonna well, pick it. So, uh, really, I'm so afraid just uh, got crashed again. I I don't know. Where were ah, you finally. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Thanks. just got nervous. Thanks God, it's fine. And Vi and Draven going to be picked from Crystal M and Naro, uh, waiting for that particular pick. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be Ari and Rice. You was completely right. So Silver picked Rice <laughs> for Chosen, and Zix might go for Naro here. Uh, actually, that's the CC combo from uh, Rice the, he, with his Ram Prison, the Charm from, from Irie, the death, sen death Sentence from uh, Trash will be a great combo against anyone, against Draven, against uh, Rennington, of course, or against uh, anyone, again. If someone just uh, catch uh, the heart or this chain, will get demolished and destroyed in one or two seconds with this with this great burst combo from Caitlyn, Irie, uh, uh, Rice actually uh, have a lot of sustained DPS. Uh, he can provide uh, a lot of burst, but uh, his overloads in the late game are really a big problem. Main thing, f uh, main thing right now for Rice is his room prison uh, range was increased, and he can catch out uh, enemies with uh, that that exact room prison. It's really good, really good for Rice. Uh, he's now viable again. Because we didn't see him for a while, and it's gonna be Zix for Naro and, and Jar won the fourth for the free agents team. I'm really am I, uh, surprised that Trial will not play as Nami in this game. Mm, no, I, I'm not surprised. I think uh, Draven and Leona is gonna be a really it's a total viable total pick. all in combo, which nice, fits yeah. uh, for Halo Phoenix with this Leona. He can deal a lot of damage and. Uh, Leona will dive and aggro yep. in the turret uh, instead of uh, Harley Phoenix uh, that we saw the previous game. He just flashing uh, under the enemy turrets, aggroing out on himself and tanking a lot of turret hits and uh, getting a lot of damage for unreason. Yeah, but still gets a kill. <laughs> <laughs> and it always, uh, it always uh, gets a kill. Uh, uh, really, as, as a Draven, it's a great uh, deal to uh, change one for one. Worth it, worth it completely, because uh, we remember League of Draven gives additional gold, and and ga in the game yesterday we s we saw in one of the game we saw yesterday Draven took 600 gold for f uh, for the first blood. It was crazy. So he gets uh, two kills instead of instead of one. But the yeah. main thing, he must uh, do, uh, kill the enemy before he'll die. <laughs> Just to proc all the adoration stacks uh, he has. So, about these two teams, about two setups, uh, which team has, has a great initiation tool? Uh, at first, I'd like to say, uh, of course, I'd like to mention Crystal M playing on Vi again. Uh, that Vault Breaker and Assault Battery from him will be a, a threat, a big threat for uh, champions as Caitlyn and Rise. And if they position not well enough, they're gonna be destroyed by that cast, that burst damage made by Fabulous, Naru, and of course Holy Phoenix, that of course has sustained DPS, but he can uh, deal massive. Massive damage, like in a few seconds, with, with his crits. With his crits, yeah, of course. And talking about free agents, they've got Jarvan the fourth. Jarvan is a real good tool if you wanna, if you wanna make, make initiation and close up the targets in one in that cataclysm ring. And then, then comes Ari that uh, can deal good AOE damage with her orbs. Of course, the charm that makes. Uh, uh, enemy take additional damage from Ari. A death fire grasp will be built 100% on Sauce Pure Effect, which will allow him to damage even more to do against enemies. a 40 percent additional damage on the hit hit target. And of course, Rise uh, as a chosen plane Rise this time, and I think that Rise is gonna be a 
a good, a really good pick against Renekton. Renekton's having problems uh, against Rice as Rice having range on his spells, on his auto attacks, he's gonna spam his overloads, his uh, basic attacks on Fabulous, and Fabulous will take a lot of harm from Rice, from this, from this blue guy. Also, the teleport for Chosen of is course. a great tool for fighting for dragons, fighting for uh, on the bottom lane. This uh, immediate gang, immediate four for two ganks uh, will deal a lot of will deal a lot of problems and uh, of course damage for Hollow Phoenix and Trial on the bottom lane. They must be very carefully with their moves, with his, with their engages, with the Zenith Blades from Trial. He must just calculate the, the whole damage they can deal, the whole uh, uh, their survivability, and of course to know when teleport is available for Chosen. This is the main thing on the bottom lane. Yeah, and talking about AOD, uh, AOD here will be one of the key uh, key person of uh, f free agents because he can disengage any initiation tries from trial when he used his zenith blade here comes flame from trash and he stops leona and there will be no shield of daybreak additional stun from uh support of dark passage so uh, there is a lot of uh, you know there is a lot of uh, responsibility lies on trash and also draven Also, Draven uh, has uh, no escapes, and he can just do nothing when he will he will be catched by the Cataclysm from I'm So Fresh. Only Flash uh, will save his life, but it's only one in five minutes, and we will see. Will uh, Jarwan will ca will well. Jarwan uh, will be catching up this Holy Phoenix Draven? Uh, someone just disconnected, I guess, and we have a uh, one minute and thirty s and. 15 seconds pause <laughs> yeah so we're waiting for the team for players uh, to start the second game of our best of three series it's a third place match I come again with that information and free agents against Dark Passage <laughs> uh, I just mentioned that uh, uh, Vi also is a great combo with Leona when the target uh, which will, will be focused by Assault Battery of Y uh, the target will be a great uh, opportunity for Leona to land a Zenith Blade on that knocked up target and to deal an additional stun lock combo from her Zenith Blade, from her Shield of the Daybreak, from her, from her Solar Flare and if it will be uh, Airy, yep, she's gonna be destroyed. Yeah, Probably, probably, but we know that Ari is very mobile champion and if there will be a, a good well-timed Spirit Rush, well-timed Flash and probably Lantern from AOD, uh, he can he can get away easily, he can uh, stick to his allies and be safe. Uh, Naru is using barrier this game. We saw all all players... Not a, not a surprise. Yeah, yeah, all players uh, on Black Monster Cup as Zix <laughs> take barrier. We never saw aggressive uh, Ignite summoner spell pick from Actually, Zix. we saw uh, an Ignite on Zix uh, on uh, ESL Pro Series uh, in Russia. Yeah, of course. ESL Pro Series is a... Uh, Our guys are just like that aggressive style of Zix, uh, bombing out, uh, igniting enemies down. Of course. And that damage for our place is a uh, main tool to achieve a win in these fights. But here, uh, today and yesterday, we, I think, haven't seen any ignites on uh, mid lane. Uh, so... Uh, so we now see uh, AOD. On a, with a Caitlyn on lower lower river uh, near near Dragon, so are they gonna just defend their territory as well as uh, Dark Passage? So everything is fine, everything is stable. No invades here, no swap lanes. That's all, also an important thing. Actually, we have Dark Passage from the both teams. From the left, it's the whole team, and from the uh, purple team, it's a lantern from a Thresh. Yep. Which is called the direct passage, dark passage too. <laughs> so. Sure. So we're we're still waiting, still waiting for guys because uh, some troubles happening here with uh, with players with uh, internet connection probably, and they have to fix the troubles. So everything will be fine. I want to talk about the itemization, the start optimization, uh, especially for Rice. Rice using mana crystal as his first item plus 200 mana he gets. Uh, but usually we see crystalline flask start uh, for Rice. It's actually, it's, it's a great opportunity to uh, just buy uh, a fast tier, tier of uh, 
which <laughs> which gives you an additional mana and he can just uh, begin to stack it. Uh, he'll uh, collect and kill minions for 300 gold, yep. uh, back to base, teleporting back and continue to pushing and farming. Yeah, that's that's th that's the point probably of mana crystal as a first item. But the problem is that he will uh, not have that uh, needed sustain, sustainability. No, I don't think he needed it. He needs needing it because, uh, as I said, an early tier yep. will help he help him to stand under his tower uh, turret. Uh, farming minions with his overloads, uh, spell fluxes, and also rune prisons will help him out to farm, to stack his tier, uh, to gain additional mana, to gain an additional damage from his spells, of course, because Riot is a very mana uh, efficient and many mana. High, highly mana cost? High yes. mana costs? Yeah. Mana, mana efficient. Um, mana addicted. <laughs> what? Addicted. What? Yeah. Uh, what, what? The word you were searching for. Yep. Okay. So, we're still waiting, the pulse time, and we can make some theory craft, some more theory craft about the, this, uh, this actual game. We said a lot of about Dark Passage, what about Free Agents? They won well, the first game, I think they're uh, really uh, dangerous enemies. Yeah, you can describe this, maybe the, some of their strategies, what about this charm, uh, Rune Prison and knock up from Jarvan combo? Yeah. What do you think about it? About, about his gangs on the mid lane and the top lane. Yeah, I said before it's uh, very important for him to land eco combo, the standard uh, standard plus uh, plus uh, dragon strike plus dragon strike. Yes, and I'm so fresh will be dangerous, really dangerous on ganks against uh, mid lane of Team Dark Passage, especially if he goes on to Ziggs, which have uh, when uh, he will have no uh, his W on, and there will be no opportunity for Nara to get away. And interesting thing for Ziggs, he can just uh, prevent Jarvan from his uh, rushing with his uh, eco combo, and he can just jump away. I, I guess I'm so afraid she will be a very great efficient uh, on the bottom lane with this dark passage from AOD and uh, with this lantern. He, he can uh, the, sen the sentence of AOD dark passage with, with uh, his lantern. Uh, he he uh, can yeah. just uh, come out of nowhere. Um, Deal his uh, EQ combo, like up uh, Halo Phoenix, and try to destroy him because he has no escape mechanism. And yeah, the uh, one of the most important things about uh, Draven and Leona here, and that's that they gonna play aggressive in any case. They the whole time they will try to play all in. Uh, they will as any blade shield of Dre break on silver or AOD doesn't matter. Holy Phoenix will try to maximize his damage early on to um, to have a great profit uh, against silver and AOD. And uh, Team Free Agent themselves will try to uh, farm a little early game, so they try to get more and more gold to uh, snowball with creep stat, and then only then killing Holy Phoenix and trial. Yes, of course, and especially we'll have a long pose. Yeah, really long pause. Seven minutes already. Hopefully, <laughs> Dark Passage and Free Agents are uh, are going to be ready right now. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm so fresh, reconnected, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna start right now. Um, what I wanted to say uh, more uh, about those two teams, about especially Free Agents, we. We told a lot, actually. Uh, we told a lot about Chosen, we told a lot about I'm So Fresh, of course, so pure effect. Uh, he's a mobility champion the, with uh, with his Spirit Rush, of course. Uh, he will be very mobile, and the charm together with Death Fire Grasp will make uh, will give the will give him a lot of a lot of damage, a lot of uh, burst possibility that will definitely work against uh, Dark Passage. And of course, talking about Silver and AOD. Finally, we told a lot. About them too. We have an unpause and we are ready to continue our second game of Best of Free series in the matches for the third place of the Black Monster Cup. Yeah, so we saw we see Silver on the bottom lane as well as Holy Phoenix. They are waiting. As as we told, as we mentioned before, there is no lane swap. Everything is stable in here. There will be no invades. And probably I'm so fresh is going to start from his red buff, the upper buff, and Crystal M. I don't know yet, really. Uh, maybe he will start from red buff either. To focus on the top lane, trying to gank Rice, uh, who got no escapes at all. Uh, because when when Fabulous can easily escape with his slicing dice, 
uh, Rice has no such an opportunity and he will probably die just to gain uh, from uh, uh, Vi. Yes, and if he got hit by Wild Breaker from Crystal M, he will be just destroyed. Also with this Ruffles Predator from Rennington from with this Calling the Mick damage and Ignite will just finish him off and Chosen can be a, a really easy first blood yep. for Team Dark Passage on the top lane. So Hal Phoenix started his uh, League of Draven plays and uh, gaining his Adoration stacks again and again. Second stack. <laughs> yeah, Chosen meanwhile uh, trying to uh, poke, stack, uh, yeah, poke on Fabulous, dealing really good damage onto Renekton, pushing him out of lane and f uh, yeah, forcing him to use Health Potion already. So it's only uh, t two minutes in the game and he's already used his uh, only health potion. It's a big, big advantage for Chosen. He will do more and more damage uh, with each level. And if he doesn't allow Renekton to uh, give some damage back to Chosen, it's gonna be fine for uh, Rice on the top lane. And to, just to shut down Renekton on his lane, to, do not let him snowball early on to the mid lane. It will be a great work for Chosen. When he will have an additional items, uh, just like cheer, like uh, boots, uh, boots of uh, Sorcerer's sorcerer Shoes, I'm sorry, and uh, Red of Ages, which will be a lot of damage, a lot of survivability from Rice. Oh my god, this all in oh. the end blade from Leona nice. was just Nice move made prevented. by Dark Passage, here comes a Q from Silver that built Tower Peacemaker to deal additional damage. Eco combo onto Naro and Charm from Sauce Pure Effect, almost killing that Zix, but that flash in time uh, made by mid laner of Dark Passage, saving him. Holy Phoenix taking additional headshot from Silver and Pill Tower Peacemaker uh, leaves Holy Phoenix with only 200 health, chosen in big trouble. Crystal and Fabulous trying to chase him down, but here. Is Jarvan. I'm so fresh. Of course, that quintessence from uh, movement speed helped him out to run away from Vi and Drainton, despite their mo great mobility. Yeah, look at these extra aggressive moves from uh, Dark Passage on the bottom lane. Always trial. Uh, trial wants to use its Zenith Blade and Shield of Draybreak onto AOD or Silver to try uh, killing them uh, with uh, with the ability of Draven to deal massive damage early on. And they are just two for two, fighting for their lane. But Silver is a full HP. Half Phoenix about 40% health. At the Zenny Blade. Zenny Blade and Shield of Daybreak onto Silver. Holy Phoenix cannot go further. It's too dangerous for them. AOD taking crazy damage. Silver trying to chase him down. Holy Phoenix oh. is a really great DPS in Caitlyn this moment. And Silver is just scared of this, of that swinging X axes from uh, Holy Phoenix. As we said, he is monster on the champion, and he he know what he can do. And what can enemy do on himself? Meanwhile, Crystal M is forced to back up yeah. from his own tier one turret, and Chosen and Amso Thresh are pushing down the top lane, and they're proxying, proxying be uh, behind. No, no problem. That it's, it's easy for them. They know that they can do that without any any risk. And Renekton backed off. Uh, he backed to the base, and Vi isn't uh, able to oh take God. someone down 2v1. I'm so fresh now. Eco combo coming out from. I'm so fresh. He's trying to get away. He got blue buff. He cannot die. It's uh, he shouldn't die. I mean, like if he dies, he refreshes the uh, blue buff for Vi. It's gonna be a real trouble for. Oh my God! Halle Phoenix is still on the bottom lane. He just killed Halims and continue farming that big pack of minions. And he'll get a lot of adoration stacks, a lot of gold, a lot of minion gold, and of course, when he will come back uh, from his base, he will have, I, I guess, a vampiric capture or maybe another Doran blade and uh, boots of speed. Yeah, look, at, I'm so fresh. He back to base. He uh, builds Madrid razors as his first item. It's really, really rare situation when we see jungler building this item. It's usual spirit stone always. Actually, with this uh, standard, with, uh, which gives a lot of attack speed boost, and uh, this Madrids, uh, and also later it will be a uh, Riggs Lantern. It will be a lot of uh, attack speed steroid and uh, the passive from the Lantern of Rig, <laughs> uh, which deal uh, an additional 100 damage with every yeah. after attack. Oh Crystal my god, this M damage! Going on to Sauce Pure Effect, but we know that Spirit Rush of Ari can can easily. Uh, get him uh, safe from any situation. Uh, Fabulous is aggressing against Chosen. Chosen is taking a lot of damage from that auto attacks of Fabulous, that Rathos Predator and Call the Meek, that letting a Renekton, a Renekton to uh, force Chosen back away onto his tower. Yes, and now Halifinix and Trevel resurrected uh, their powerness and 
Continue to stack in this adoration stacks and yeah, meanwhile... Yeah, Slam going on the top lane, Chosen in big trouble, he probably going down here, nice room, prison made by Chosen, but here comes Flash from Fabulous! Oh my god! Ca I cannot believe that! Here comes Eco Combo from I'm So Fresh, he's going to take down Holy Phoenix, and Sauce Pure Effect, of course, gives additional damage, and yeah, he takes down that kill onto Holy Phoenix. I cannot believe Dark Passage made that aggressive move on top lane, and they both die to Chosen. Oh my god. The double kill in the top lane will for help rise. a lot for Chosen. He will get a uh, fast order of age, he will get a fast hero from race, and it will be a very scary danger in the mid lane already. Yeah, Catalyst, the Protector, and Tear of Goddess, two items that are core for Rise. When he gets it, his man mana becomes inf infinite, and he can just stay in lane Spamming as long abilities. as he wants. Yeah. Spamming his abilities onto Runex and forcing him down, uh, forcing him to back off to base over and over. Such an aggressive pink ward we saw from Nero uh, in the enemy jungle around red buff. Hey, or oh, that aggression from Chosen. He's already seven, uh, seventh level uh, and the fabulous only six. He just can't deal with it with this uh, seventh level rise with this. Uh, a lot of damage. Yeah, there is no Blue man. There is no way. And of course, Fabulous got Dominus. If he wants to engage on the rise, he has to go all in. If he if he cannot do that, Rice is gonna just kite him and then chase him down, easily taking up a kill on Fabulous. So oh, also uh, Fabulous has to be really, uh, really careful and risky at the same time. It's uh, uh, sounds a little bit weird, but uh, if he goes if he goes all go, goes ham. He gotta all in that. That if aggression. Not, he gotta be careful. That aggression from uh, that sentence team coming out agents from, from AOD onto trial. Trial have, has to uh, be a little bit careful down here to not get caught. I'm so fresh and chosen here, taking the wrath and zoning crystal M from his own jungle. And look at the amount of words coming out from Team Dark Passage. They wanna see everything on the lower jungle. And they just want to steal that blue buff from Nero to prevent him from spamming his bombs every time all over and over again. Meanwhile, a fifth level of Holy Phoenix and Trial Band, they need that six. This Swirling Death and Solar Flare combo will deal a lot of damage and a lot of CC also. Yeah, and Ari, Ari wants to gank bottom lane, but uh, Team Dark Passage see Source Pure Effect and they will be ready for that uh, Actually, the Nero just was... Uh, so. Yeah, Chris Lamb See. coming onto top lane. It's gonna be an interesting 2v2 fight. If it's gonna be an engage from Fabulous, I'm waiting for that. Look, Chosen is baiting Fabulous out to try uh, attacking, attacking Chosen. But, ah, he's backing off. Yeah, and the first dragon of the game came to the. Oh, AOD tries to use the death sentence. Flay is successful and box. Wow, look at this pretty. Good DPS onto Holy Phoenix. AOD has to back with the flash and ignite is not enough to finish him off. Orbits here from South Pure Effect. Cataclysm coming out from Jarvan. Fabulous in a big danger. Chosen is here trying to finish off Fabulous. So close and they get it. Kill third kill in a row for Rise, but Jarvan is dying here. Actually, it would have uh, be a great uh, dive from Team Agents on the top lane, but I'm so afraid died. So it's one for one. It's nothing special and. One kill came to the Fabulous. Yeah, still advantage on the side of three agents. They got Dragon. They got uh, three kills advantage, and probably soon they will start to get towers if they keep that advantage on. Yeah, of course. And Chelsea, uh he's like the boss. He's blue boss of his own lane. He's uh, poking and harassing Fabulous all over and again and again, spamming his overlords, uh, the, this room prisons, keep uh, Fabulous in rage, and don't let him to slice and dice closely to the chosen. Yeah, Chris Lam is trying to find a way to gank something. Uh, Team Dark Passage needs a kill. Uh, actually, Hala Phoenix needs a kill because he has, uh, I guess it, it's about uh, 1700, so, uh, yes, no, uh, 170 duration stacks on his Draven. And look at the mid lane. Zix is ahead on CS despite the kill of Ari. Uh, Zix is trying, trying to be on, on the same amount of gold as Ari. This is a problem, of course, uh, for Zix that he has to catch up uh, onto Ari's amount of gold and he has to be at the same level of itemization. Otherwise, he will be lack of damage and, of course, uh, free agents will be ahead and uh, 
again, a lot of problems will come out for Team Dark Passage. Yes, and the first out of the game will be destroyed by Jarvan Fresh and Caitlyn. This trio will, trio will continue to pushing down bottom lane. So it's perfect, just waning. They, they can real and true assassin with the Spirit Rush charm, uh, this orb, and also Fox Fire combo will just destroy Naru. Yeah, Naru Crystal M, Trill, and Holy Phoenix are on bottom lane. Careful, really careful now. Not trying to make any aggressive moves, and they, uh, they're they trying to vision everything up to see any movement from Team Free Agents. And they did a great job of it. They know that uh, I'm so afraid she's hanging out around their refs, and he must be destroyed by Nero and Crystal M, but uh, they decided to farm. Just farm and to catch free agents with the gold. They have uh, about three and a half gold difference between two teams, and of course in the favor of free agents. Yeah, completely uh, right. And tier one tower on the top lane is almost destroyed by Chosen. Fabulous, understand that he can be in a trouble, but here comes Crystal M. It's gonna be 2v1 situation. Flash is coming up from Fabulous, trying to catch out Chosen. Look at this damage made by Chosen! Crystal M has to back off, otherwise he will just die to Chosen and give him a fourth kill. And I'm so fresh, is near too. He's got Eco combo and Cataclysm ready to fight against Chosen Renekton already fight. built this Road of Ages this fast yeah. on the 14th minute of this game. It's Road of Ages, it's tier, tier of the Goddess. It's a lot of mana, it's a lot of ability power, it's a lot of damage and a lot of tankiness with this health of course from health, this rod. Yeah, health and mana of course. And talking about bottom lane, everything is safe right now. Holy Phoenix and Trial, they want to find a way to aggress against uh, f free agent, but they can't actually oh do God. that. Uh, free agents play too safe. Actually, Silver has a lot of uh, items, and I think he will out DPS uh, Hollow Phoenix in the yeah, that uh, the skirmish two for two. It was the sentence from AOD not hitting anyone. He wanted to try out oh, so pure effect using his spirit rush to not uh, get into trouble. Mega Inferno bomb coming onto mid lane from Narrow. He doesn't want his mid lane tower tier one to be killed, and of course he's trying to do his best to push that. Oh, of course. And dragon. <laughs> uh, the dragon second is dragon is going to be taken by the free agents again. A lot of damage is... Uh, Crystal M has no opportunity to go in, he is pretty far, there is no vision for blue team, and uh, there is no way to risk. An additional pack of gold in favor of free agents. I'm just wondering how much gold... Oh my god, I'm so fresh. I'm so fresh, chosen, and so perfect. Got almost 1,500 gold in their pocket, and they just... Can't spend it. Yeah, look at that, so fresh. I'm so fresh is going. Crystal M is here. He's using Vault Breaker and Assault Barrier onto Chosen. Chosen in big trouble. Cataclysm coming out from Jarvan. Chosen is going down and uh. shot down for Draven. I'm so fresh. It's really low HP. Here comes Flash from AOD. He trying to catch out guys from Dark Passage. He's going to be Q from Silver. They build Tower Peacemaker to deal additional damage onto Holy Phoenix. Guys from Free Agents backing off. They have no opportunity to fight here. With this shutdown on Chosen, with this Adoration Stacks were blown, Holy Phoenix just got 1000 gold with this kill. 1000 1, gold? <laughs> oh my god, it's just impossible. Crazy amount. 500 gold uh, with the for shutdown, the and of course 500 with this Adoration Stacks of this League of Draven passive. It's an amazing and enormous. Number, <laughs> number by this <laughs> Draven. Naro is taking tier 1 tower on the mid lane. He is in a good situation. He has to back off. Not uh, taking damage from Javan. It's impossible here. He should be uh, playing safe. No way to fight here. Holy Phoenix and Trial. Finally. Finally, they're they coming uh, under the enemy tower. Out of the tower over the bottom lane. And they can destroy it. Actually, if uh, Holy Silver. Holy Phoenix has here. BF Sword, Vampiric Scepter. He got 165 attack damage. And he's ahead in gold. And he have to, and he have 2700 gold uh, in his pocket. Yeah, look, AOD trying to aggress. Oh, is any blade coming out here? Here comes Lantern. But Vi is here. I think AOD and Silver in a big trouble. Vault Breaker from Vi. Oh, that shield is so big. Solar Flame. Oh my god, Holy Phoenix is going to die here. AOD 
just made a perfect job. Eco combo coming from Jarvan. Sauce pure effect is here. Zen Blade coming up from Leona trying to finish off someone, but there is no real possibility for that. And Crystal M together with Trial dying here. Three for zero exchange in favor of free agent team. Yes, and this uh, last charm that landed onto Crystal M signed his death sentence. <laughs> yeah. So brilliant and play again. by free agents. Look at that. Mega Inferno Bomb damaging free agents, but they are not afraid at all of that move. Look at them so fresh. He's just ready to tank any damage from the tower. Yes, silver AOD and all Samson fresh on the low HP. Yeah. Fabulous meanwhile on the top, top lane. lane. Still having a really big problems with this chosen with this blue rice which uh, already got cho chain waste. Chosen is 45 uh, now 50 CS ahead of Renekton. Renekton is a big trouble in this game. Fabulous has to do something with that. If he cannot do, it will I'm be afraid. a really I'm afraid. It will be a disaster for for Dark Passage. You just can't do nothing to the tries. Uh, as, as soon as uh, time goes on, Chosen will, will have a Frozen Heart, he will have a Bench as well. Oh my god, Crystal M oh is just no. demolished Chosen by Chosen. using that Assault Battery and of course that Crowd Control by Dark Passage destroying top laner of free agents. Yes, a lot of over overextent from Chosen. It's not a uh, bronze game. <laughs> it's another thing uh, free agents actually want. They don't need that overextended aggressive moves here. They need uh, to play a little bit less risky and should focus on team fight because they are really strong right now. Rise has a lot of damage. Uh, Jarvan is crazy and tanky. <laughs> and tanky, yeah. With that Warden's Mail, Giant's Belt uh, already, of course, Caitlyn has got Bloodthirster, Pickaxe, probably, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be Last Whisper as it's her next item. And Ari, Ari. with Ari. the damage, with this Charm okay. landed, with this Defire Grasp is used, it's about 40% damage additional from Ari onto one target. Of it's course. a lot of burst. Yeah, so they should work on it. Naru uh, is low on mana, he needs blue buff at all costs, without <laughs> blue, Naru cannot actually outpush that uh, minion wave that come out from uh, free agent because they constantly pushing. Look at Chosen. Chosen is always trying to uh, get to tier 2 tower and do harm to Dark Passage team. Always. Holy things in trial oh, again blade. and again uh, trying Zale to kill. Attempt. Here comes Box from AOD and Lantern. Silver is gonna give a lot of damage to Holy Phoenix. He's going down. Trial in a big trouble. Probably AOD can hold him with that death sentence. And Trial is going down. Another kill comes here for Team Free Agents. And of course on the top lane, Vi is dying. Oh, Fabulous is trying to get away. He's surviving under his tower. Eco combo coming from Jarvan. Cataclysm here. Mega Inferno Bomb trying to damage. Show. Oh my god. No. Fabulous is not getting away. Another kill for free agents. Four for zero. And the Naro is the only one who survived during this uh, uh, few skirmishes on the bottom and the top lane. And of course, free agents are the monsters, uh, monsters of that game. That I would deal a lot of damage. That chosen. He's just an amazing player. Yeah. He's uh, running uh, over and over. He's running around the enemy's jungle. He's uh, al always spamming his overloads, his rune prisons, spell fluxes with his uh, ulti ultimate ability. He can run uh, sure. fast Look over. This sentence coming from AOD Crystal M in a big trouble. Silver. Oh, that damage from Silver is real, real good. They just go. Oh, oh my god, nice the flash, flash over. Flash over that E from the Holy Phoenix. Holy Phoenix can die here. Uh, Silver got red buff. He got Bill oh. Tower Peacemaker. Ace in the hole is available and he uses on Holy Phoenix. Holy Phoenix is dying. Descendants from AOD coming onto Naru. Auto attacks from Silver. That red buff. And Naru is going to die. Bill oh, so close. So close. Bill Tower Peacemaker was about to hit Zix. But not he now. didn't land. And Naru survived again. He has zero deaths. And Silver is low on mana. Also AOD. Have nothing on it. Meanwhile, three agents pushing down uh, Inner Turret in the mid lane. Yeah, it's easy. Easy for them. Uh, 14 to 3 in kills. And 9,000 gold ahead of three agents. Yeah, Purple Team is doing really great right now. Dark Passage having trouble, having problems all the game. Uh, what Over do you think? No. Uh, what lane was the um, main disastrous? I, I, I don't know. 
the lane yeah, I think for the, Team Dark Passage. I think top lane, top lane is a, was the biggest problem because Ryze got double kill uh, under his tower and the problem is Crystal M couldn't uh, couldn't make anything as uh, his Y. He was kind of uh, useless uh, on ganks. He tried to do his best but there were too many problems uh, for jungler of uh, Dark Passage team. He tried to do that but it was really hard for them. Of course the double kill on the top lane just changed the game from the very beginning. And then and again another oh. Inferno Bomb just out out pushed. Out push the uh, minions from tier 2 tower uh, on the top lane. Here comes Fabulous trying to damage Chosen with was stun. Assault Barry coming out from Vi trying to kill Ari. It was successful. Shut down for Fabulous. That's what Dark Pass Passage needed right now. Oh, that spell of luck just, just killed Crystal. Um, ah. No, it was close. It was really, really close. It needed only one uh, hit from the spell flux to end Crystal M life for that for the next 30 seconds. Uh, Holly Phoenix in trial uh, ju are just walking from bottom lane to the base, bottom lane to the base, bottom lane to the base, and finally they came out to the mid lane to help out their team in the team fights. Uh, yeah, Rise right now is 50 CS ahead over Renekton. It's really, really good, uh, really, uh, a really, really good moment for him. So he got. As we told told before about Road of Ages, about uh, Glacial Shroud, Tear of the Goddess, and of course Spectre's Hole, his build is now really crazy. Ah, uh, he's uh, look look at Holy oh. Phoenix. He takes a lot of damage from Rise. AOD trying to get away. He's using his box. Will there be engage? Trial taking death sentence from AOD. AOD jumping in. The damage onto Trial is awesome. Destroying Leona and Holy Phoenix right here. So. <laughs> the damage from Crazy. Pure Effect. Naro was destroyed. Sauce Pure Effect just went in with that Spirit Rush, Charm and... The Fire Grasp. That Fire Grasp, of course, instantly killing Naro and no chance to survive for mid laner of Dark Passage. And of course, that uh, fight was 3 for nothing and free agents continue pushing the mid lane uh, till yeah. the end. Till the end of uh, and destroying of Inhibitor. Then they have a little bit of time and they have... Uh, about 30 seconds, uh, 13 seconds uh, until Nero will be respawned. Yeah, and tier 3 tower was destroyed right here. As, as an inhibitor. Any problem. Un uncontested as well as an inhibitor. You're completely right. And Dark Passage right now have to come back at any cost. They, uh, I mean, they should make uh, defensive moves, but they should catch someone out. As from, we saw. Uh, free agents, yeah, as we saw before. And they this is a great moment when uh, free agents just try to take uh, Baron, the problem is that Draven is on bottom lane and Holy Phoenix cannot do anything to help his team out with that Baron and Crystal M is probably gonna die. He used his Assault Battery, but it isn't help. It isn't helping him anyway, and he's given that kill. Naren's in big oh trouble, chosen with that Overload, and of course, I'm so fresh, Eco Combo, Just Cataclysm. Dunked. Yeah. Narrow. Yeah. Dunked. And again, two for nothing in the favor of free agents. Meanwhile, Halo Phoenix, oh my god, that's pro teleport oh. from Chosen. Yeah, it's gonna be a surrender. Um. Surrender and defeat for Dark Passage. So sad game for Dark Passage. Of course, that early double kill for Chosen just made the game for the whole team. Not to mention uh, mid lane, where uh, Pure Effect was uh, really pure mid lane of pure assassin for for his team. Yeah. Uh, he, did, he dealt a lot of damage, a lot of burst onto the others. Uh, his roam. Uh, on bottom lane were ama was amazing. He just got about two or three kills during during uh, all the roams uh, to the bottom lane. Sure. So he he helped out Silver and uh, AOD to win his to win their lane and to shut down Halo Phoenix and to not, do not let him yep. snowball with this 1,000 kill. <laughs> 1,000. Yeah, that was great move uh, made by f uh, free agents when they. A little bit uh, when they uh, got a little bit of uh, yeah, no 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 I mean they got good amount of gold at the moment with that uh, 1k gold for uh, AD carry but they couldn't capitalize on that they couldn't make advantage on that and uh, free agents just kept making their good moves and they kept destroying Dark Passage and Dark Passage couldn't come back at all so talking about uh, damage dealt it's over. Uh, no over. Uh, talking about damage dealt, it's a uh, 15k for rice. For uh, 
for, for chosen. For the chosen. And I think he's definitely most viable player in this yeah, MVP game. MVP of this MVP. game, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Caitlyn, of course, is 14 uh, and half K damage uh, dealt in this game, which also a good result either, especially against Holy Phoenix and Trial on bottom lane, uh, who shown uh, really confident play during the tournament. So, I was uh, kind of amazed that uh, that uh, team of free agents will take uh, will take down on the bottom lane uh, Holy Phoenix and Trial so heavy. So, uh, Draven and Leona couldn't couldn't make uh, a profit out of this out of their pick. Yes, they they, they dealt nothing with this uh, all-in combo. Leona, yes, Leona landed her Zenith blades. Uh, he, uh, she does her Shield of the Daybreak combos, Hollow Flare were just amazing, but it wasn't enough to destroy this uh, Hyper Carry Caitlyn, this Fresh with his Flay, uh, with his bugs, uh, Dark sure. Passage, uh, Lantern of course, not the team, uh, Death Sentence. It was just so amazing played by Team Free Agents, uh, I don't know, they got uh, confident and yep. clean win in this game. Sure. And uh, all of the best of free Syria for the third place, and we can uh, actually congratu congratulate that uh, team with this uh, third place on the Black Monster Cup, with this amazing play. Yeah, third place uh, coming out for uh, Team Free Agents, and fourth place is for Dark Passage. Also a good good place for uh, the Turkish team. So they played really well. They played really well, uh, especially Holy Phoenix. He get he got Penta kill uh, today on Sever. It was really, oh, really nice. It was, it was so amazing, actually. Uh, so the grand finals are still going. Cloud and Eclipse and Denial U still fighting for the for the victory in this tournament and the, for the first place. Yeah, it's one one one. So it's last game for them. Uh, you can watch it, of course, on uh, ESL TV. Uh, lol, uh, lol. So. Uh, we're going to finish our broadcast now. Thank you for watching and hopefully you will have a good day, good evening, good ranks uh, and good next week. And we're going offline. So, thanks for watching. And it was Mike Zykes, Nicole Star and the whole ESL CIS broadcast company and team. Thank you for watching. Yeah, Black Monster